<laughs> okay. Here we are with something new, something other than Mega Man Maker. Um, I'm sitting down here, I'm knocking off a few beers, and yeah, I wanted to play one of my childhood games, uh, Super Bomberman, and I thought, what the heck, might as well, you know, go ahead and record it <laughs> while I'm playing. So yeah, I like... I played this game quite a bit growing up as a kid, um, and yeah, it really is a lot of fun, like... Mainly the battle mode, but the single player mode can be quite fun as well, and yeah. So, you know, I just want to play through this and upload it for my channel, you know, while I'm sitting down here and playing, so... Yeah, hopefully it will be somewhat interesting to you guys uh, to watch this. Hopefully someone will tune in. <laughs> if not, that's okay. Um, I realize my channel is mainly Mega Man Maker, but, you know, I wanted to try something new and... You know, I really like this game, so yeah, that's why I'm playing this. Um, so yeah, like, first off, I guess, um, we have these enemies here, and you know, we're just walking around, we're destroying them, getting points, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, as you can see, our firepower is pitiful. Um, and yeah, we can only lay one bomb as well, like, we are very underpowered at the first stage here. Like, as you go through the game, you will find power-ups hidden in the blocks, you know, that just uh, explode here. And you will get... Oh yeah, speaking of power-ups, here is one. The regular bomb, which will give us a little bit of points. And now we can also have two bombs on the field at once. So, basically now, we will just be going through here and looking for more power-ups. And yeah, here is another new power-up. Giving us more points than the bomb, I believe. But more importantly... Boom! We now can... Yeah, we now can. We now have even greater firepower than before. Which will speed up the process, so now we can just, you know, do this and... Yeah, very nice. So, like, this game is... Yeah, it's a very calm game, you know? It's very easy to sit down and relax, to... You know, you just walk around, gather points, destroy enemies, and... Yeah. It's just a good time all around. And... The best part is, if you for some reason... Oh, if you some reason... Oh, and there is the goal. Um, when you enter that uh, square there, you finish the stage. But it's always a good idea to keep going, because as you saw there, I got an additional bomb. So now we can put down three freaking bombs there, which is excellent. And yeah, here, look at this. If we explode this uh, square here, or this block, like, we will also explode the goal line here, which is not a good idea. If you lay a bomb on the goal line or the goal square, like, enemies will come out of it, you know, enemies that you have already destroyed uh, will reappear on the map, and yeah, you don't want that to happen. Do not want that to happen, indeed. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> and here we already have the goal, so let's just demonstrate, I guess. Let's just explode it, and yeah, as you saw there, Whoops, now I did it again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, since there was nobody dead there, it's all fine. And I really want that. Can we... Ooh, almost got killed? Oh man, this is a little bit intense here. I'm going to have to be careful with how I pull things off here. Perhaps now we can get this guy. But yeah, this guy's... 400 points! What am I doing? Why? Why did I stand there? Oh... That was bad. Oh yeah, and when you spawn from the dead, you get this invulnerability frame, so you get to do this... Uh, yeah, you can just basically keep spamming bombs and, you know, just blast everything to pieces, but... I'm not going to be using that trick. It's like... Yeah, I feel like it was not intended by the creators. Uh, so... Yeah, I will not be abusing that. Oh yeah, and down there in the corner we have the ice cream cone. I believe that is basically... I give it, I think it just gives you points, so it's nothing too exciting. Ooh, but this, however, uh, is the skate power up will increase Bomberman's speed here. So now we move even faster, or a lot faster than before, which is very nice. You need to move fast in this game. Helps clearing the levels that much faster. Oh, and I don't remember if I said so, but 
um, you need to destroy all enemies before you can proceed to the next stage there, so... Oh my god, the ice cream cone gave 50k experience! I, I gained like 3 or 4 extra lives there! Wow! That, that's crazy, and look what am I doing? Dude. <laughs> oh well, no problem, we can just finish it up. Okay, so... Let's just... Go on here? Oh yeah, now we will have... A new template here, I guess, of sorts. And these rabbits. The rabbits really aren't that dangerous, they are pretty much as... You know... Pretty much as easy as the enemies from the first world. They move a little bit faster. Um, that's about it. Maybe they do something else that I've forgotten about. Like, enemies will get some different abilities and such, you know, the longer into the game you get. But, you know, you're still in the first world, so it's going to be relatively tame here, you know. But yeah, it's such a nice game. Like, yeah, I love this game. Just freaking love it. And, you know, as for the length, this game isn't very long. Like, it should be over in a few videos. It's not very hard either. Okay. This power-up allows us to basically kick the bombs around, which is a very nice power-up to have. Um, like, I believe you can even hurt enemies by kicking bombs, you know, directly at them. So, it's a very powerful power up here and yeah maybe I might be doing some cutting too like because I imagine watching me grind power-ups isn't all that exciting so yeah I might do some cutouts you know in the future or heck maybe for this video you know just to speed up the video here Right. One four. Oh, we have a new enemies here. The bombs. Um, the bombs are quite deadly. You have to be a little bit careful around them because they actually will explode themselves, as you saw there, and they do not take damage from it. However, they can hurt you or others around them. So, yeah, be very careful around them. And yeah, look at that. They give so many. Or so much points as well. So many. Yeah, so much points. So many points. <laughs> um, yeah, what else is there about them, I guess? Oh, yeah, like, something I haven't no, uh, mentioned yet. Like, they can they can actually explode the goal line there. Which des definitely do not want to happen. That's, uh, that's just bad. And they can also destroy power-ups. Like, if there is a power-up on the field. And... Uh, Wow, I did not see that. If you lay a bomb, like on this skate power up here, it will just disintegrate. It will just go up into smoke, so yeah. They can also, or rather the bomb enemies can also destroy power ups for you, which... Yeah, I've had that happen to me before, it's just... Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> hmm, so how do we wanna do this? Usually also, like, on later levels, you do not necessarily want to destroy all bombable blocks, you know, right off the bat, because they can help you actually, you know, they can help you, they can be helpful to box in enemies, is basically what I'm trying to say here. Okay, but at the stat level, a little bit more action-packed than the earlier ones, so, very nice. 1-5. Oh, oh jeez, um, we have bomb eaters here, or one bomb eater, this blue guy here, he'll try to eat up bombs, um, and yeah, if he eats up a bomb, like, it will just disappear from the map, so, yeah, oh, look at that, that bomb guy, he destroyed the enemies, <laughs> but yeah, oh no, I let him out on accident, oh no, 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 that's not good, oh shoot, oh, this is not good, thankfully, we got rid of that guy but yeah like just to demonstrate like as soon as you lay a bomb he will just move at it at once so just try and bait him and yeah i believe he take like three hits three four hits they are very tanky and this is not good oh no why did i do this 
Oh my god, he should have killed me there. <laughs> should have, could have. Boom. Very nice. Okay, so... Despite me almost dying there again, um, that uh, went relatively well there. Bomb beaters are quite nasty. Yeah, I'll just cut out this grinding here, so see you in a bit. Alright, here we are, and here are the power-ups. We got the kicking power-up here once again. I'll just pick it up because it gives me some points. And yeah, we even have the remote bomb power-ups here. Like, you can explode them whenever you want by a button press. Like, look at that. They are so overpowered, so you can basically just lay down, you know, all your bombs, then just put yourself in a safe spot and yeah, let it rip. I think we will do a few more stages, like, it, especially if I cut out some footage, uh, like, it would be nice if we could do one world per video here. And yeah, these tank guys, <laughs> they are nasty, but we have the remote bombs, so, yeah, just gotta wait for- Wow! Oh, and that, that power up there! Shoot, man! Get it! Ooh. Yeah, that is the walk over wall power up, like, look at this, you can move over walls, that is so nice, and- as you saw there, the bomb guy could very easily have exploded that, like when he was so close to it. That was almost really bad. Nice, we got rid of him. And yeah, I also believe the tank enemies there moving around. Obviously their fire will kill you, obviously. And I believe their fire will also set off your bombs, so you gotta be very careful around these guys. So they, they do not take you out. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's basically it, and look how many hits they take, this is quite ridiculous. <laughs> okay, nice, another bomb. So now, how do we deal with this? I guess we just box him in here. <gasps> I almost killed myself! Oh my god, I, I honestly did not see that. <laughs> that was, yeah, very poorly played on my behalf, but uh, luckily it worked out. Yeah, just look at this. Power up farming will be very nice now. But yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, no power ups here. No power ups at all. That is a shame. We got the walk over walls uh, power up though, so I should not be greedy. <laughs> um, oh, jeez, look at this. All the worst enemies except the bomb eater, I guess. Oh, yeah, and you cannot walk through these blocks here. They are solid blocks or whatever you should. Call them. But yeah, my goal here is to take out the bomb enemies as soon as freaking possible. Um, okay. Frick frack. Okay, okay. Usually I get very nervous playing Bomberman and I end up doing stupid mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Nice. We got them. Nice. Ooh, a free guy, an extra life. Yeah, I'm looking very nice here. Like I have nine extra lives. I have lots of power-ups. Yeah, you know, it's just looking very good here. Whoops! That was not so good. Oh my god. Yeah. Why did I do that? Like, usually it's not too bad if you spawn an enemy, but like. As you see, they're up to the left. We have a timer on us, so we don't want to spend too much time in here. Like, yeah. We gotta try and stay on schedule here. I know we can actually get him to time set. No, I was not thinking that through. I was going to let one bomb off and then, you know, explode the other one and just kill him, you know, as he was going forward there. But yeah, I forgot that <laughs> the first bomb was going to set off the second one, so yeah. Okay, let's try this. Let's kick it. Yeah, look at that. It deals damage and then you can explode it. Very nice combo. Okay, so see you in a bit. In a bit. Alright, no more power-ups here. And I almost ran out of time. Yeah, but this would probably be the last stage I do for this video. Um, this is the boss, obviously. <laughs> I don't know his names. I... Uh, his names. I don't know his name. I don't know any names like for this game here. I have no idea. But yeah, 
this boss is very easy. Like, generally, this game is very easy, like, overall. So I do not expect it to take me too long to finish up this little side project here. Yeah, but especially with the remote bombs, like, we can just... We can just run circles around him. I mean, just look at this. Look how easy that was. No challenge at all. <laughs> yeah, I really, I don't really care. I just want a shield playthrough here. Hey, so nice to be playing Bomberman again. But yeah, that will be the first video. Next time, we'll be heading into the freaking circus level here. <laughs> yeah, see you then.